Yeah. What are you doing? Making coffee. You're doing what? Making coffee for you because you only want one. <laughs> Shut up, fool. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. Like, comment, subscribe. Ring the bell. It is. You have 24 unread messages. Time for me to read my messages. <laughs> <laughs> What is today? The 27th. 27th. It is Thursday, the 27th, at some clock in the morning. 7.54. 7.54 in the morning. We are just uh, getting up. We stayed at our receiver last night. We dropped... Uh, it's a drop and hook. They didn't have no empty trailers. Um, they didn't have any empty trailers. Uh which sucked, but they had me put my trailer in a door, and there was like five other prime trailers in the door. Um, I asked them, hey, man, can, you know, I do my break here? Because right on the walls inside there said no overnight parking on premises. But I seen some other trucks kind of sitting here, and he's all, yeah, I see those other Attention. trucks. He goes, yeah, he goes, just park next to them. Right on. So we did our break here at our receiver. Thank you, Crafts. That's what that's the pre plan he sent me this morning. And everything that was sent overnight. Because the new Qualcomm system waits till you turn the truck on. And um, so I didn't want to drive around the back of the building, so I went in there because we're closer to the dude, and he looked on his camera, and he says there is an empty trailer back there. So we better hope we're the only prime drivers here looking for one. Do you see any other prime drivers here? So uh, we're going to go back there and snag that bad boy. Um, dispatch sent me over a pre-plan to go to Riverview, Michigan. Michigan. It's a Nestle load, picks up about 50 miles from here. So, before I accept it, I want to look to see where washouts are, because I don't want to be driving 50, 100 miles backwards to get Wasn't a washout. there one close to here? There, the last mile? Happened? The last mile said there's something close to here. I'll have to pay out of pocket and get reimbursed, it said, which is fine with me. I thought it had a code on it. No, it wow. said they take uh, credit cards. No, there was two of them. Then there was the one, it said the closest in network which usually if they're giving you one nearby and then a closest in network, the closest in network's far. But being we're going 50 miles from here, if it's in the right direction, we'll go ahead and go to the in network one. Right, dear? Right. I always try to go to in network first, right? All right. Just like a doctor. Right. That way there's no worrying about uh, getting reimbursed and forgetting you to have do two anything. Hours and 48 minutes of remaining drive time. Instant coffee, black. It's good. Here you go. You bought all those nice shirts. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, I got it, I got it, I got it. Because like you're handing it to me like that. You bought all those nice shirts and you're wearing your t-shirt. Well, well, yeah, the other one's for special occasions and shit. Well, tell them wear them. It's just special that. occasions in trucking? Like going to Fire and Ice and spending the day walking around the city when we land someplace soft. <laughs> but I also got that really cool 50-year Prime sweatshirt, too. And if we're going to Michigan, it's going to be pretty cold. Just, you know, you came up to me. I was eating, finishing. I finished my breakfast. I was talking to Junior. And you walked up and said... Give me your debit card. Give me your debit card. <laughs> so what did I do? I gave you my debit card. I never even asked. How much did that? 15 bucks. Oh, 15 bucks for a sweaty or hoodie? Yeah, it's that Port Authority. Damn. Prime, I was, the prime clothes are pretty inexpensive here. That's cheap. Oh, baloney. Those shirts, those long sleeve button up shirts are thirty-some dollars. Oh, I like yeah, those. Oh, yeah, no, this is a sweatshirt. The sweatshirts and t-shirts. Remember, my t-shirt like seven bucks a piece and shit. Damn! Why do I have prime clothes? I just bought a shirt at I told Walmart you, for five dollars and forty-seven cents. I told you to buy one of those 50, 50 year anniversary tee sweatshirts. I don't wear sweatshirts. Oh, okay. <laughs> I mean, I do, but not 
Man, I just don't want to bring that now. So we got rid of five bags of stuff. Yeah, but I cleaned stuff And you're up. slowly building it right back no, up. I have room in my thing. Everything's indoors now. I have nothing now. And there's room for more. But I tell you. No more room for more. <laughs> I'm not going to get any more. I'm not saying I'm going to get any more. Got my... <laughs> I've got my middle drawer up there. All I got is a bra in it. <laughs> what? Yeah. Where's the other one? I got it on. <laughs> but there, that Hot drawer tail. was full of them. No, it was full of lingerie and lingerie and pajamas and stuff. I and I wear an old T-shirt. I wear an old Kid Rock T-shirt to bed. <laughs> Why are you snuggling up to Kid Rock? Because he kicks ass. <laughs> Kid Rock all the way. Not everybody's gonna like that, <laughs> but well. We're all different. What's wrong with Kid Rock? A lot of people don't like Kid Rock. Why? (laughs) For the same reason they don't like Kid DJ. (laughs) Oh, come on, man. That is no, that ain't true. Uh, Would. Wait, 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 wait. (laughs) Why would. Would you guys listen or not listen to a. Oh, 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 here, get that before I get 10 seconds and get a boom. Um, would you guys not listen to somebody like Kid Rock because of his political reviews? There are people that will. That's amazing. Well, I won't take the party, but don't. Shamrock Carnage. Those are the only two singers I can See, you know what it is? I think I'm just a very open person. No, it's no. live and let live. Yeah, you know what? I always say that. Live yeah. and let live. I don't care That's what you I'm are, doing. who you are, how you are, what you believe, whether you're religious, not religious, Satan worshiper, not Satan worshiper, yeah. liberal, Democrat, libertarian. Uh, uh, libertarian um, Green Party. Wait, liberal is Democrat. Republican, um, Green Party. No, I don't care. Is, is no, I didn't say liberal. I said oh. liberal. Um, I don't care what you are, what your beliefs are. I just, you know what? If you're a good person, you're a good person. Yeah, we don't befriend people like Charles Manson or anything. Yeah, I wouldn't. Yeah, Charles Manson no wasn't a good Ramirez person. Or Richard Ring of Friends. Yeah. Hey, you know what? His fifth wheel doesn't have the stop going backwards like ours do. Ours keeps us from going from about three holes to the very back. Uh-huh. That swift truck, it can go all the way to the back. Hmm? Uh, should I take this load? I think you should. Otherwise, you're going to sit here for two days and can't. Can't. You haven't turned it down. Sit here for two days. <laughs> here at Craft for two days. I just wish they had something that We're earlier. This, this picks up at two o'clock. And then it delivers... When does it deliver? Uh, when does this load deliver? Let's see. What are the specs on this load? Proposed next load. Location 1, 35 miles, which is probably going to be about five, 50 miles. Uh, Caleb, Illinois. Picks up on the 27th at 14.01. So, 2 o'clock. Why 01? I don't know. Why am I pointing the camera at my face? Let me let you look at my beautiful wife. And then location 9326 miles Let's to a ca- Sam's Club distribution center in Riverview. That delivers tomorrow at 8 a.m. So it's a one day, it's a one day load. It pays good. Caleb is uh, K A L O. No, no, no. I'm sorry. It's not Caleb. <laughs> it's got to start it's, with a C. It's D D E space K A L B. Decalb. Oh, that's why I couldn't find it. <laughs> where I get Caleb up. from. Uh, oh, wait a minute. Oh, D E K. Okay. 22 D-E- miles from here. <laughs> Look at what she's using. Truck G. Truck GPS. 
looks in straight shot, though. Let's see. Major highway? I mean, truck GPS. Uh, uh, car. Car GPS. Oh, you know what? Let me put the code in. That's what I was doing before minutes, I started. 25 miles. Oh, you can, it's taking you on Interstate 88 all the way there. Interstate 88. Let's do this. D-E-1. Let's get the last one. I stopped the damn video is what I did. Um, I hope you guys did heads didn't hurt. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead and send a macro 19 and get our last mile on this load to see what the address is. I can punch it in the actual truck GPS. If we're going 88, I believe 88 is a toll road, but I believe that's a very inexpensive toll road. Yeah, there's, there was one way to go that said no tolls, and then the 88 was a preferred one. Yeah, I think the 88 is like a couple dollars to run on. Okay. <sighs> Let's get old Wendy, Wendy you, woke up. Is it a dropping? <laughs> is it a sling and ding? Yeah, is it? A, a munch and bunch? Uh, it, could it be done ready early? No, it's a live load. Oh, uh, maybe they'll get you early. I'm starting to sound like you. <laughs> maybe, maybe we go over there. Oh, now. you know what? I, if I, I can call them once I get the last model, I'll have a phone number in there yeah. and see. Because if they can't and we went there early, we won't be able to get to our 90 tonight. We'll run out of time. Um, we ain't going to be able to get to our. So that's the other thing that I don't like when they send these pre plans. They don't, when my fleet manager does it, he sends it in such a way to where I can see the last miles with this thing. When weekend and night dispatch do, do it, they, I can't. I have to do these macro 19s, which is a pain in the neck. Um, and you guys are probably wondering why is weekend or night dispatch? Well, my fleet manager apparently isn't in today. I think he's making his trip to Springfield now. Oh, is he coming to Springfield? Yeah, he was supposed to come last week, but the snow stopped him. Big old bad, what's he, what's he big old bad John, Mr. Truck Driver, <laughs> ex truck driver, uh, dispatcher, a little snow stopped him from going to Springfield. Uh, uh -huh. But yet, but yet, <laughs> come on, guys, chain up and go. I always remember him as ex heavy metal goth guy. <laughs> <laughs> and he told his story what he used to look like when he started. That's right. <laughs> heavy metal goth, eyeliner, and the whole bit. Oh, man. Now he's so conservative looking. Well. Okay. Why you gotta rag on John like that? I'm not. I like him. He's a nice guy. He's friendly. He's not stuffy or anything. I think you'd like Lance too. I'm sure I would. Lance was cool. Once I once I learned Lance and realized that that <laughs> it's just the way he sounds. Uh, yeah, some people don't. Lance was like uh, Royce. Oh yeah. You know, if you don't know them, they you sound like they they're always pissed mean off at you. Pissed off, you know. Why am I not getting my last mile on McWellcom? I mean, my uh, yeah, my thingamabobber. Okay. Better go I got it on the phone, but I can't read it on the phone because they'll yeah, let's move this out of the way. So they'll stop yeah. the video, I believe. Yeah, I don't. My jacket. But we're warming up the truck. Um, I went ahead and. Uh, we got our oil changed and everything, looked under her. Our oil pan is leaking. Well, we call it the oil pan leaking, but it's not the oil pan leaking. They've changed the gasket Attention. three times the now and a new oil pan. So something, maybe the engine's cracked, who knows? Something is coming from somewhere else. Okay, there's my directions. All right, I-88 exit right onto Peace Road. Okay, cool, cool, cool. What we are looking for, customer, no overnight parking, live load only, oh. wash code BB62, avoid tolls, I-39, exit 87, east on US-30, north on, turn right, east on Derby, okay. So, 88 is a toll road. Let me go ahead and put this address in. I'm going to put the address in. Yep, yep. I'll be right back. All right, if we take the the fastest way there, the tolls are going to be low 465 to to 5 something. Here, let's show you 
how we do this. Hopefully, uh, whoops, that's not what I wanted. Uh, I can't think. Think, David. Yeah, I want to go here. I want to go here. I want to go here. I want to go there. I want to go compare routes. Show two routes. Okay, no toll is 32 miles, 51 minutes. Toll road is 23 miles, 31 minutes. So for 20 minutes for five up between 465 and 590. Uh, what would you guys do? I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to pay the $6. Proceed to the highlighted route. And that's probably less than that because Prime gives you a, a discount on tolls. So, 24 miles, like Melissa said. So it's actually less miles than that much McCullough said. Huh, how about that? Less miles. That's never a thing. Now I'm going to look up a washout. To do that, I'm going to put the code. Just in case you don't know how to do this, let me show you. I've had a driver go, hey, how'd you do that? You heard me doing this one time. Um, she's not awake yet. Let's please wait for a second. Let's give her, let's give her a sip of coffee. Splash. So how's everybody doing? Hopefully you guys are all doing okay. Uh, John, you out there still making that money, I see. Terry, what's up? Ain't heard from you in a minute. Okay. I'm living dangerously putting my coffee on the dash. I never do that. But I don't like that little coffee cup in the cup holder. Because if that spilled down the dash, I'd have to get a new truck. Uh, what was the code? I already forgot. Uh, let's go to inbox, uh, code BB62 is the code, that's our station code, alright, so we're going to go where to, location, BB62, search, and she should be searching, hopefully you guys can see this. What can you see? I don't know. I hope you guys can see this. I can't tell because I got the camera backwards. There it is. Blue beacon. Asking for Means you're going to sit there all day. I'm also going to look at the one that's near here. I might just get it washed out no, here. But I don't know if you guys are seeing that, so I'm going to stop pointing it at it. Okay, the blue beacon is 40 miles from here. Current location. So what that tells me is that's going to take me 20 miles out of my way, which in turn is going to be 40 miles out of the way, because you got to go 20 out, 20 back. Um, so let me look at the place that's nearby here. Okay, this is the weird thing about uh, Prime. There's When you get your load assignment, the last mile is sometimes different than the actual Macro 19 because um, this doesn't say anything about the washouts that are nearby here, which is bizarre. So now I'm going to have to go into my phone and look at the actual load assignment. Um, I don't know why they don't have those all the same. It would just make things easier. So, yeah. Talk to you guys later. Waiting to hear from dispatch about the trailer that is here at uh, Crafts is only an intermodal. They have an intermodal and they have a red tag, uh, red tag, a red tag trailer where the forklift guy stuck his forks into the side of it and ripped a big hole in it. Um, so uh, we're waiting to hear back from from dispatch. Waiting to hear back from dispatch. Uh, I've seen. Hey man, maybe I can bobtail over to Nestle. Um, otherwise they're going to have to get us a trailer, which is going to put a damper on things because our Nestle might have an empty, but how would that work? I'd have to go pick up the empty from Nestle, go get it washed out and then bring it back, feel, wash it out, fill it up and bring it back. Tell me. A new important message has arrived. <laughs> Ow. Smack you on your booty. Oh, man. Uh, he 
wants to know the intermodel trailer number. Uh, damn it, all the piss. You have two hours and 48 minutes of remaining drive time. You have two hours and 48 minutes of remaining drive time. Four mile an hour shuffle. Yeah, you see how the reefer unit's all built into uh, uh, steel around it? See the steel cage around the reefer unit so when they slam them against the uh, trailers? <laughs> Let me give them the, uh, I don't know why I paused it. Let me give them the uh, trailer number. Reply, P-R-I-Z, I don't know if that matters, P-R-I-Z, 89003, 89003. Would you like to send that message? I would. While I do that, I'm going to go make sure this trailer is even roadworthy. Make sure the glad hounds are there. Okay, reefer won't come on. That usually means that's flipped, so we'll start the reefer. Uh, I don't. I ain't gonna be able to get back there from this side, but I just want to see what the fuel fuel situation looks like. She's three quarters. Uh, you know what? I think my fat butt can bend. Uh, she's got duels on her, of course, because she's in her modal. They look okay. Uh, should I get my baton out and smack them? Oh, somebody's rubbed that tire pretty good. Uh, uh, mud flaps are there. I guess I'm bending over to get under those doors. Shoots intact. I ain't too worried about the cleanliness of it because we will wash it out. But yeah, the chute's all intact. I don't see any rips on it. If I could close this door, I'd climb up in there to look at the chute better. But I'm not going to break my neck. I'm too old and fat to uh, be climbing in the trailers. That mud flap's a little twisted and tweaked. Let's see if I can find a way out without having to crawl under that door. There we go. It's snow. Don't fall. Man, I'm glad we have aluminum rims or whatever we have on those trucks. Oh, rusty and nasty. All right. I just cleaned these damn shoes. Oh, she's got a weak battery, but she started. Who is? Say what? Oh, the yard dog is? Okay. All right, you're, he came up to you and told you that? Yeah, he's right there. Oh. Wait, get over here and get it. Okay, well, I guess we're not getting that trailer.
Damn it all the hell. All right, let me let dispatch know. Yard dog says no. Attention. Okay, I just got a message from dispatch and I see there was a trailer number on it. So they're telling me where to go get a trailer from. There. You have eight hours and zero minutes we'll of see. remaining drive time. I hope you guys are enjoying this video. This is trucking right here. Let's see what they said. Please grab 165007 at TID E. So I gotta put that code in and see where that's at. Ted Chi. Ted Chi. T E D C H I. Ted Chi. 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 You guys hear me trying to remember this name, right? She starts talking to me. She starts talking to me about the coronavirus. No results returned. C to D. C D C. Some. Beards, mustaches, and kit compatible with respirators. They put out a chart of what kind of beard you have and what's compatible with respirators. <laughs> Why should I need a respirator? <laughs> I don't know. Okay, so that stated, that code didn't come up, so let's look at it again. T E D C H I. T E D C H I. T E D C H I. Let's try it in capitals. That's what I put. Yeah, that's what happened last time. T E D C. That shouldn't matter though. If it's case sensitive, then it should change. But I, I never put them in capitals. Maybe they changed it. No results returned. Box. That's an I. Reply. Hey, Scott. Hey, Scott. Location code has no results. See what he says about them apples. Slide your tandems, slide your tandems, slide your tandems. See who slides the tandems. Somebody dropping off a trailer here. Right, Melissa? There are a couple places that don't want you to slide your tandems. Um, I can't remember the places, but they're little, little, oh man, I'm running the truck, you know, you guys are probably hear nothing but vibration, I apologize. Um, they're little, uh, little places and it's so tight, they want, uh, they need the extra turning radius. 
Okay, how did he get his trailer back so far like that, do you wonder? Maybe it goes that far. No, there's a specific reason why it went that far back. Because he didn't slide the tandems. The tandems are all the way forward, oh, so yeah. it lets him overhang back there. And you notice how all the trailers are way far forward than him? That should give him a clue. That should give him a clue that, uh... Oh, look at the little puppy! Oh, my God, that little puppy! Oh, crap! Little puppy! Puppy! Um, that should give him a clue that there's something out of place. And see, the problem, the problem with not sliding tandems at places they want you to slide the tandems, and he didn't open his doors, if you notice, this is the place they want you to open the doors, although sometimes these holes are too tight, you can't open your doors, um, is they can eventually just say, you know what, you guys can't do dropping hooks here because you guys are making our yard dog do a bunch of extra work um, when you drop your trailers. Radio, radio. Let me go show you that other trailer. All right, let me show you this other trailer while we're waiting for a reply here on that uh, location code. All right, she's red tagged. I tried to pick this one up last night. You can see the, woo, so you see I'm walking on ice like a dummy. See the big old ouchy douchy? Boom shakalaka! Yeah! At least they put the trailer out of service and then try to have us pick it up and deal with it. And the good news is, is the truck up here he just slid his tandems. How about that? Right on. Some drivers follow rules. Inside joke. Oh, did you <coughs> send back a message saying you didn't know what that was? They were trying to say. Yeah. Okay. She's, okay. Let's see. Yeah, he hasn't sent me back nothing yet. Um, enough of me, right? You guys are sick of me already. So, I'll leave you be right here. I might be back. I might not. You will. <laughs> no, I'm not talking about later. I'm talking about on this video. Ah, uh, okay. Maybe I'll come back with the results. Or maybe I'll go ahead and edit the video while I'm waiting for this and post it. And maybe I'll have another cup of coffee while I'm waiting for that. No, 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 because we can't be peeing every 15 minutes. When I say we, I mean you. <laughs> hey, that's just a little cup of coffee. Usually I have that whole thing. Hurry up. Hurry up for what? I don't know. What am I? Wait. I don't know. I why said, did, why I did I hurry, hurry up? up in a long time? Oh, that's right. You used to tell me that. All the time. All hurry the up. time at uh, Hillside. Yep, hurry up. She's got the cutest little, cutest little dog, man. Oh my god, I want my puppies back, please, please. Why can't I find my puppies? You would hate it so much with my babies on the truck. Oh, they be. Let's buy a house both, so you can keep your dogs. I'll go live in the house. Both of these suckers would be sitting right here, going click, 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 Oh, man. <laughs> oh, worst thing I've ever done in my life. Still waiting for his reply. 
Still waiting for a reply. Hmm. Still waiting for a reply. Hmm. Still waiting for a reply. Still waiting for a reply. Hmm. Did we get a reply yet? No, no reply. Still waiting for a reply. Hmm. Still waiting for a reply. Like, comment, subscribe. And ring the bell. We got a reply. Let's see. Where, what was his reply? Uh, <laughs> Ted's trailer service. Okay. We're going to Chicago. I guess we're picking up a trailer that was being serviced. Right on. Right on. Talk to you guys later.